Welcome back everybody, I'm Brendan Dickinson and today we've got a shorter video on Unity versions, specifically what version of Unity should you be using. The way that Unity does its versioning can be a little bit confusing and if you aren't sure which version to use, don't worry, the answer is probably pretty simple. For most people, you should probably be using the latest long-term support or LTS version. In the description below, I have a link to the download page for the latest LTS version, so go check that out. Now, if you want a little bit more information about versions, then stick around. First, let me explain the current versioning that Unity uses. You have the first number, which is the year, the second number that represents a major release and includes new features, and a third number that represents a minor patch, so usually bug fixes or hot fixes. And it will also tell you if it's an alpha or beta preview build if it has an A or a B in it. There are three categories of builds, the LTS versions, the non-LTS versions, which are often called tech, and the preview versions. So let's go through why you would use an LTS version. LTS stands for long-term support, and these versions are the most stable and supported for the longest. Who would have thought? Basically, this is what's meant for production if you're making games or applications to publish. So it makes sense that using the latest LTS version would be the most stable version of the engine with the latest feature set, and this is why most people are going to want this version. Now minor patches are released quite often for the LTS versions, and unless you're dealing with bugs or issues that are fixed by those patches, you really don't have to upgrade your version at all. Typically I'll upgrade my LTS version about every 6 months if I don't need a specific fix. It's also possible that some of you make assets for the Unity Asset Store, and you might need some older versions of the LTS installed in order to make sure those assets work in the older versions. Now why would you want to use the tech version over an LTS version? Well, it's pretty simple. If there's a feature you need or you want to use that isn't in the latest LTS version, and you can only get it in a tech version, that would be why you'd want to use tech. Now these versions are mostly stable, but they can definitely have issues and different bugs so you want to be careful and always use source control. Lastly, that leaves the preview version. These are the most unstable versions and you should never use them for production. The only real reason to use these is if you want to try out some experimental features and help with Unity's beta testing program. That's it. There's a couple of different ways to install the different versions, either through the Unity Hub or the Unity Download Archive. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do that, check out my how to install Unity as well as my what is Unity Hub video. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. If you want more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Right now, only 1.4% of my viewers are subscribers, so I'd love to bump those numbers up. Have fun creating, and I'll see you next time.